How many of you are not married? Raise your hand. How many of you who have raised your hands are virgins? Because, because there's no difference between you and the people in the world. There's no difference. If you are looking for a virgin, you better not waste your time in the church. Because the church is as, uh, the same behavior, the same things that we used to do when we were in the world. That is the same behavior that we are doing now that we are calling ourselves Christians. It's the same thing. You can't get a girl in the church and say, oh, because she's in the church and she's been in the church for four years, she must be a virgin. Or because she's been in the church since she was uh, 14 years old or 16, she's a virgin. No! Look at them, some of them in the choir, in the church, all over, all kinds of lifestyles. You don't want me to say it. You don't, you don't want me to say it. Then go to another religion and join another religion. You don't want me to say it. Ah. You want to change the religion. But there are other religions you can choose from. There are other religions. I don't know why you want, you want to be a Christian without taking up your cross. You can't. There is a standard. Jesus never lowered his standard for anybody. Remember the rich man? No, no, no. Jesus told the rich man, go and sell all your riches and go everything. Come. Come and follow me. Just like Peter, just like James, just like John, everybody else. The Bible says, if any man, any man, any man, any man, any man, anybody, anybody, including you, anybody who wants to come and follow Jesus Christ, take up your cross, deny yourself, and follow Christ. The music you used to listen to, you cannot listen to the same music again. Get down on it. Get down on it. What are you getting down on? What is that? Get down on it. Get down on it. What do you mean by get down on it? What are you getting on to? Some of you have sugar that you can give you $1,000 for one night. You can't have a sugar daddy anymore. Wait, let me tell you something. If you've come to Christ, eh, you are going to suffer. And if you are not prepared to suffer, leave the church and join another religion. Eh? You are moving with liars, moving with thieves. Thieves are your friends. Arm robbers are your friends. Do you think it, cannot, it will not have an effect on you? In the name of business, in the name of getting all these things in the world, we have sacrificed Christ himself. And to be a Christian, you must take up your cross, deny yourself, and follow him. When I came to Christ, I had to, I lost, my friends were half castes. If you look at me carefully, you see that I'm a half caste. Look carefully, can you see? Because my mother is from Switzerland. Her, every child grows up, your, your friends are your mother's friends, children. My mother's friends were Germans, Austrians, uh, Swiss people, and uh, my friends were all half caste. I didn't, I didn't know uh, Bishop Saka, I had not seen him before. Or Bishop Eddie. I grew up with such people. My life was in a different co context altogether. When I came to Christ, look, that's why I thank God for a sister, a sister called Betty. You should thank God for friends in the church. She took me for the first time to action. I've never, I've not been to, I've not seen such people before. She took me to um, 31st night with the Reverend Owuse Frie. I've never been to such a program. 31st time, we used to do other things. She introduced me to a new, new people, new places, new music, new everything. And you, you sacrifice the old friends, the old people, the old lifestyle. Everything must go. That is the cost of Christianity. Unless you can join another religion, that's what I keep emphasizing. Go and become something else and you can go to hell if you want to. But if you are coming to Christ, if, if, if any man, if any man.